Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Last time we had quite the emotional story beat happen in the story. <laughs> My throat actually started to hurt because like trying to voice act while getting choked up at the emotions. But it was a fun time. The last time, it was mostly... There was tension because, like, Nuzleaf was just like, Hey, what if we go and invade the village's sac most sacred place of Revelation Mountain? And then just nothing happened. <laughs> so it was like a bunch of tension and then nothing. And then it was mostly just a lot of build-up to Gabriel and I making the decision to leave the village and pursue our own destiny. Of which, at the end of last time, the story said that we had traveled for many days as we tried to make our way to Lively Town. But yeah, the last, the last scene of the previous stream was a very nice moment that, again, I can understand people not liking the slow burn of the village arc but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the slow burn of the village because of that moment. Slow burn for slow burn's sake can get a bit annoying, but if there's a decent payoff to the slow burn, then it's good. It's basically, that's basically me with anything. It's like so long as this thing can justify its, its, its existence within my fictional games and stories and stuff. Like, why did it take this long? Ah, for the payoff. Is the payoff good? Yes, then that was worth it, kind of thing. But, uh, enough waiting. We will see where we go next. How long it'll take us to get to Lively Town. And what will happen when we get there. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll roll up to this, like, Expedition Society and they'll be like, Who are these sassy lost children? And then, well, Gabriel is going to have, like, because obviously Ampharos is a part of the society. He's a part of the Expedition Society. So, Gabriel's reaction, if we run into Ampharos, the dashing wanderer, working for the Expedition Society, might be amusing. Meanwhile, everybody else is going to be like, Ampharos, why did you indoctrinate the children into, uh, as, like, minor members of our society is just like, oh, because I thought they'd be good for it. But let us see where the story goes next. Chapter 11, Over the Mountains. Whoa, this cliff is crazy right here. I can't even see the bottom. It's been pretty rough up to this point, but it looks like it's about to get even worse. Once we get over this big mountain, though, I heard it's not far to Lively Town. If we can just get over this, we should be almost there. Let's give it our best shot, Neon. The real question is, uh... Like, uh... How did we get here? Did we just camp underneath the stars? Ooh. This is nice music. We've got to make it over, Neon. That was some nice music, the build-up. Just very, very nice. Just gotta make room. Ooh. This is some music. Ooh, it had that nice build-up, and then it just went into, like, epic adventure music. Would you like to go on? Of course. Sheer mountain range. Ooh. It's kind of a... Like a spiritual diddly-dee of, uh... I forget, like, uh... Because there were... 
There was a mountain level that we got early-ish on into in GTI that this is very much reminding me of. I guess we might as well use that while we can. Yeah, this song is really good. What the hell? How did an Emera break there? Never seen that before. Never seen Emera dust just in a a tunnel like that before. Get confused, idiot. Force palm. But I do like, again, I like the kind of foggy down there where it's like implying this is a very great height. It's just very good. <laughs> hey, Neon, what did we miss? We just began. Where apparently, according to Gabriel, if we make it over this mountain, we should be near Lively Town. And I was making the joke that uh, Gabriel is going to be so shocked when he realizes Ampharos is actually a part of the uh, Expedition Society. Because, like, he, I, I still don't know why he, like, lied about that. He's just like, oh, actually, I'm not a part of the Expedition Society. And then, like, after he gave us the expedition stuff, he was obviously going to reveal, actually, I am a part of it. But Gabriel just kind of brushed him off and <laughs> ruined his thunder. And I'm just waiting the moment of uh, the other Expedition Society people being like, who are these sassy lost children? And then immediately getting angry at Ampharos for bringing children into this. He was just like, oh, but I thought they'd work so well in this society. And they're like, Ampharos, they are children. We have age requirements for a reason. Uh, apparently, the uh, speed on these enemies have gone up compared to previous enemies. Oh, no. Nom. And my dizzying stare, Emera, is paying dividends. That's nice. Gabriel going ooh shiny by <laughs> taking the money that was right in front of me that I was going to grab for the both of us. Well, let's see. This might lead to a room that has an Emera. No Emera. Sadness. But yeah, this is a very good song. I really liked the opening to it where it kind of started low-key and then built up to all this. Oh no, not a Makuhita. No, shit, I miss. How is a Makuhita faster than me? Die. Are you calling me fat game? That's not the type of thing you say to a growing boy. And again, just random Emera dust in a hallway. Huh. And well, that guy's added to our list now. <laughs> Aw, how dare. His friend is unaffected. But yeah, just like Emera dust in a hallway. What even is that? I guess maybe to help get Emeras in these kinds of dungeons is a gimmick? It, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, you saved up some Emera dust and you got an Emera now. What the hell? A whole fucking army. Boss bomb. Vacuum wave. Get, get confused, idiot. We probably should have brought more. More of everything. But I gotta say, I'm extra happy that I chose a Finnegan partner. His artillery is uh, commendable.
I really like these mountain stages. The mountain stages are just very cool. Another ghost type, but I forgot that they can do that. Time for you to die. I forgot that they could fly off to the nowhere land. Are you the distant dodge man? I, I guess I'll take that. Prepare to die. Mine. <laughs> all of all of that just to get some money. We're gonna starve in these mountains. You've heard of missing 411? We'll get ready for Pokey 411. Again, I really enjoyed that the story moment that led to this. It's like the story so far is very nice, and I just again mostly just hope that there's decent pacing for the rest of the game that really pays off the slow burn and then just lands for a great ending. That is what I desire. And man, this this place is uh, starved for emeras. You dare leer at me, prepare to die. Pow. Shh. How dare you dodge me, you bitch. Die. We'll take this one step at a time in case I run into another flying type that wants to fly at me. Die. You leave the boy alone. Definitely probably should have brought more elixirs. Well, well, I won't say no to that. So child labor might be canonical. Either that or it's just everybody going, there's no way you can do that. You're just too young. But I would it would be funny if like child labor was like something that they actually slightly touched on, if only because I think it would be funny. You dare growl at me? Prepare to die. You are now my level up meal. Oh, we can learn a new move. And it is copycat, don't think I'll care. It mimics the enemy's last move. No, thank you. I do not wish to get rid of anything that I have for, uh, for that. Unless we're gonna fight a Lucario, and you give me the ability to copycat an Aura Sphere, I don't think I care. Time for Timber! Nom. Get flinched and confused, idiot. Ah, son of a bitch. I'm going to die here today. Just like, what a brutal thing. They're like, I'm going to set you unconscious, and then I'm going to beat you to death. A tiny reviver seed, that's nice. Quick orb, not as, like... Quick orb is the kind of thing that I would be like, ooh, this could be useful, and then I just forget to ever use it. How dare you get a critical hit on me. It's like every single time I try to... I, every single time I try to bite the Tyrogues, the Tyrogues always dodge my shit. How dare. How rude. Once again, what is with all of this Emera dust?
Like, I again, I think it's a cool thing. Let's see. Uh, increases normal attack. So we're gonna be uh, dishing out some major pain. Like this. Hiya. Distance dodge. I guess I'll give that to you. Just in case. How dare you, bastard! Prepare to die! And status mirror, I guess I'll set that. Why not? Vacuum. Burn your fur, not fur, feathers. Pain, I live in pain. Oh, yeah, I guess why not. If it weren't for the fact that we just had, like, the Giratina boss fight not too long ago, I would joke that this, <laughs> this like, level would end in a boss fight. Quit being speedy, you little fuck, and prepare to die. I'm gonna dodge all your attacks! That just means I'm gonna kill you harder. I just realized we've yet to find an apple in here. That's kind of rare. Most usually we're drowning in apples. We make all enterprise out of it. Star Trek type too. This time though, no, it's just all gone. Hello, Timber. I'm going to punch you in the gob. Man, it sucks to be you. Just get obliterated in five different ways. Continue that artillery fire, dear boy. Just make sure there isn't, like, a hidden room. Well, not really hidden, but the, just make sure there isn't a room just in between them. You never know. Ah, an actual dead end. That's kind of new. Another dead end, okay. How dare, prepare to die, nom. Because I mostly want to wander around in case there's extra emeras. Or apples. Finding more apples would be good. Well, the music is end. Well, I said I wanted more emeras. Hiya. Hiya. Shit. Why are the Tyrogues so speedy? They just decide, nah, I don't want to get hit. I went the completely wrong direction. I missed my turn. I just zoned out there for a second. Yeah, I should probably get a move on with this dungeon. Since we know where the exit is, and it's right here. Let's -a go. So I like to think about how all the other uh, player partner characters just having a table argument at Spindus Cafe. <laughs> Mostly the other ones like we don't even have a Spindus Cafe, and then the GTI team is like we have Swana, <laughs> Swana's Diner, and the rescue team is just uh, angry. The super team, we have Mama Kangaskhan's cafe. Rescue team just seething. Uh, agility all you want, nom. Look at all that agility. He still died. He was so agile. Also, I just realized we have gold bars? Or at least we can get gold bars? Again, what is with all the Emera dust? What is this mechanic? We're just gonna throw a bunch of Emera's, <laughs> Emera dust at the player. Why? 
No, seriously, why? It just... It, it, it's so weird. It, it almost feels like it's going to try and lure me into a trap one of these days. Uh, power Boost X. Raise my power more. <laughs> and another escape orb if we want to leave. Growl all you want, I still kill you. And my bite will someday become the strongest in the world. Vacuum punch. You dodged the first vacuum punch, but what about the second vacuum punch? But like set to the tune of like, what about second breakfast from Lord of the Rings? You dare? Nom, shit. Everybody is missing everything. That is, that, that is probably, like, the least thing that you could do. Hey, how about, uh, screw your evasion? Apparently I got barrage on that. That is hilarious. And then if anything comes up, uh, ahead of us, I'll just hide behind Gabriel. Well, let's, let's see if he can dodge this. He could not. I just love this music. It's so good. Quit growling at me. Nom. Nom. Such good music. Again, it's just like this trail of Emera dust is always just gonna put me on edge. It's one part, ooh yay, free Emera. One part, what caused this to happen? It's like finding a blood trail in this mystery dungeon game. It's just like, what did this? What what could possibly have done this? Oh, that's not nice at all. Oh, hey, it didn't work. Yay. How kind of them. Well, I was saying how we weren't getting any apples. Hmm. I'll give Disney and payback for you, because we can. We do what we want, because we can. So we have an emergency sellable apple. You shall soon die. Motherfucker. What is with these crazy guys going, I'm gonna double dodge ya. How dare you. Now I wonder if, like, the various Pokemon... Like, uh, re- like, uh, continents, like, their governments outlaw certain kinds of TMs or something. What are the laws of moves? A lot of escape orbs. The game is telling me to leave. I shall not. I shall continue on my merry way. Thank you very much. Yeah, keep missing your singing, idiot. Ooh, power boost Y. About time we got one of those for the boy. Ah, shit. You're a jerk, and soon you will die. Yeah, that's right. 
get punched in the gaba. Well, I'll just vacuum punch you too. And as you can see, the Tyro helped the, the snow runs because it knew it was a bitch. We are here to murder you. I wonder what's the sparkling. But calcium! Well, we know who's gonna give that. Here you go, boy. Increase that special attack. Well, Gabriel. You I would have gotten to it, I think. Had you not gotten in my way, Gabriel, you killed that Emera with your thoughtless actions. Dodge this. That's right, become confused. <laughs> I don't know, but I got killed master rank, if you remember a while back. Still feel the captain. <laughs> I've never really much, like, tried to get, like, high ranks in the various mystery dungeon games. Maybe if I ever, like, uh, make it a thing where I play through the various, like, mystery dungeon games as, like, an annual thing. Like, maybe I'll make that one of the things I try to do. Turn it into a thing to do. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll be popular enough and viral on the internet that I could turn that into like a super stream or something. We shall move along. We have no more apples. <laughs> but a Chimchar and Riolu being the captain looks cute, yet so silly. Such is the way of the Pokemon world. Various Pokemon that you just would not expect to be monstrously powerful, yet they are. Again, just random Emera dust everywhere. Prepare to die. I'm going to beat you to death with my teeth. Trap proof? I'll trade one out. Let's see. I, honestly, status mirror, most of these guys aren't doing anything stat-wise or, like, uh, status-wise. I mean, trap proof so we don't randomly blow up will be nice. It's wonderful music. The incessant urge to fully explore a dungeon. To make sure that everything is gotten. Growl all you want, you will still die. And now I've been caught on fire. For some reason. I shall destroy you. Harden all you want, you're still gonna die. Force bomb. You know what? I'm interested. Quit missing! Bastard.
At least I got a tiny reviver seat. And what's here? A gold bar! The stream that I notice that we have a gold bar count is the stream that I find a gold bar. Must be fate. But yeah, it's just like, I'll need to be afraid of those flying firebirds. Well, get the emerald dust is just everywhere. You reckon Pokemon treat unevolved Pokemon like young children, but it's like classic Sonic <laughs> being 33 type situation? Because wasn't like a uh, revolution stopped in Sky? Evolution was blocked in both Rescue Team and Sky. And I don't, th I just don't think it was commented on in ba ba ba. It wasn't uh, commented on in Gates to Infinity. And so far, aside from like a small bit where they mention evolution just being a thing, they haven't uh, commented, what the fuck is that? Holding the, uh, awakens you. If you're capable of Mega Evolution, you'll Mega Evolve. What the fuck? In the Awakened State, the Pokemon will take no damage from the front. Some Pokemon will Mega Evolve. The stress will go away when you put the Looplet back in your bag or when the Emerald loses an effect. Huh. Interesting. I have become a god. You cannot damage me, you whore. I am beyond your power. What even? Even my chat is going, what? What? I don't know. It just gave this to me! <laughs> huh! Well, I guess I'll eat an orange berry for a little bit of... Oh, I thought it raised my belly too. Oh, it does! By two points! Do I have anything that like, fills my belly. I mean, I guess I could. Hmm. I have nothing. I'm gonna be taking damage. Soon. <laughs> right as I become invincible to combat, the game is like, YOU ARE NOW GOING TO STARVE! Apparently my chat cannot believe that I have awakened. A fucking snow run stealing my meal? Well, one of you has it. You try to you try to affect me. The answer is no. Prepare to die. Well, I guess I'll use it. Sure, I'll become a god. <laughs> now the table argument would be like. What do you mean you have just these fashion accessories that turn you into a god? <laughs> I just, I was not expecting that to happen ever. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, I don't even know what that bar is that's filling up above me. No idea what it is. Oh, apparently it got eaten. I'm apparently back to normal. Interesting. So it's a limited time power-up that Mega evolves you if you can. Like, not gonna lie, a part of me was just like, does that mean I become a Mega Lucario just out of nowhere? But sadly, no. I do not get to magic my way up the r the ladder of evolution. Well, 
Uh, since I'm out of apples, I should really get a move on. Well, another apple! <laughs> I guess get rid of the peckaberry. It just... <laughs> what kind of... Like, thing even was that, I gotta say? It's just kind of crazy. It's just like, here, you won the lottery. You get to rule the world now, for five minutes. I'm going to beat you to death. Die. And a level up for the boy. We'll need all the level ups we can get. You dare leer at me, die. And you shatter. Darn. Looks like it was gonna be Barrage, too. Nom. We'll leave the Rostberry. This singular pile of dust. An Undertale monster died here. Well, we should probably just get a move on out of here before we just die. Shit. You fool. Die. Not you, and I missed my step onto the goddamn thing. Well, we might as well kill you, see if I can level up my bite. I'll never get to level up my bite. <laughs> Eat the uh, berry, it gives some belly. It gives two! It gives two belly. <laughs> Not really all that useful to me. Well, I mean, it was on the ground, so I guess... Wouldn't have been a waste, overall. Damn it, I fell asleep again. He only ever pecks me in this combo. Nom. How dare you spit sand in my friend's eye, Nom. Nom. Probably use an orange berry. Well, then again, actually, we have an apple. Watch this now be the exit. <laughs> and because we're running low, all right. Definitely l running low on my ability to smack some bitches. Intimidator. Always nice. One by one, motherfuckers, come die. Wing attack all you want, die. How dare you? You're a Bug him, mate. Why are you very fast? Well, we haven't run into a trap in a while. You stop that. In a frozen status, the Pokemon can't move at all and takes no damage. This ass will go away after a while, but it can also be melted with a fire-type move. I see you for what you are. Now die.
Ah, that one's gonna shatter. I don't even think there was a way for me to get there unless I came from the other door. Nom. Level up my bite already. I've been gnawing on these bitches for so long. Down to the bone. This is a very long dungeon. I did not come prepared. It hasn't even given me the courtesy of a midway point yet. But hey, an apple. At least I have a ton of reviver seeds. God help us if I run out of... Buh buh buh, what's the word? If I run out of, uh... Buh buh buh. Power points. I shall just nom. I shall devour <laughs> the Emera and its mystical dungeon power. That makes me wonder if you eat too many Emeras, well, you get like Emera poisoning. That's how you get dungeon sickness. You ate too many Emeras. It's like it always gives me just enough apples. To get away with things. Maybe we're entering the era of Super Mystery Dungeon, where we just need to book it through dungeons as fast as possible to preserve our resources. Well, I guess we'll try and beat you down. You're a silly bean, aren't you? Die. We'll swap an escape orb with you. We don't need that many escape orbs. We never escape from a dungeon. We're not cowards. That one literally got two for flinching. He flinched and then got bit again. Not him, this one. Schmeck. Gabriel, why did you do that? <laughs> it's like, I want the orange berry. We'll grab it later, after we kill this guy. Yeah, I'll just eat it. Increase my <laughs> starvation health. Locate enemies on the floor. I guess I'll use it. Locations of all enemy Pokemon on the floor will be displayed on the map. The stats will go away when the Pokemon enters the next floor. And another power boost Y. I, well, really, you're not going to get much use out of it. Because you, you, we don't have any moves left. No elixirs, and your special moves no longer get activated. No ra having permanent radar would actually be kind of dope. Because then you get to prepare for what lies ahead. You 
motherfucker? How dare you dodge twice in a row? Let's check. Is that an apple? That's uh, money. That's not gonna help us if we die in here. Well, we're out of the mountain. It's gotten really dark. Neon, let's stop here for today. Let's spend the night here. Under the stars. <laughs> Literally, I was making a joke. We don't even have a tent. I think we've made it over that big mountain by now. I bet we're probably almost to Lively Town. Oh, yeah! That reminds me, I haven't told you about the Expedition Society yet. It's been like months. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to join the Expedition Society. And then you just don't even tell me what it is. It's officially called the Pokemon Expedition Society. They go on expeditions all over the planet, all over the world. New continents, Pokemon they've never encountered before. They discover all kinds of things and store information in the Pokemon Nexus. Pokemon Nexus. That Pokemon Nexus has the capacity to make a world map of the whole planet. I want to work on making the world map too. In order to do that, we have to join the Expedition Society. Everybody says kids can't join. Damn labor laws. But I'll do my best to plead with them to let us in. I'm sure it'll work out somehow. Yeah, it'll be fine. Gabriel sure does get discouraged easily. Mood. But I've never seen anyone who gets over things so quickly. Wish I was that. <laughs> I feel like permanent radar would be really cool for an ability on something like Riolu. If they still had the... Like, Krogunk swap, like, cauldron. Where you get, like, an item that's specific to a Pokemon, and if you hold it in your bag, you get, like, a bonus. It would be neat if it was just, like, a Riolu or a Talisman that <laughs> lets you sense nearby enemies. Like, even if it is just, like, the nearby pathways and upcoming rooms, just having a small radar would be neat. I really like that positive, hard-working attitude. Just being together makes me feel full of life. Ah, young love. Neon, let's get plenty of rest so we can give it our all tomorrow. And then we're assaulted in the night. We have to kill Darkrai again. He, he wasn't even doing anything that nefarious. He was just giving us nightmares. Morning, Neon. What a refreshing morning it is. I think we're almost to Lively Town. Let's hurry up and get there already. All right. Interesting song choice. Also, I have a shit ton of money. Put away a bunch of our money. an interesting song. Alright. Now we need to take out... I'm gonna take out five apples. And five elixirs. Maybe another one. Another two, actually. Ah, oh, yes, the not-so-gentle slope cave. Have fun! Oh boy, if it's anything like the mountain we just went over, this is going to be painful. Well, I guess I don't need this extra attack looplet. It's still a cool song that's playing. <laughs> Gentle Slope Cave. I wonder if it was called that as a joke. You there, prepare to die. No idea why he didn't do that to the fire type, but sure. What the? Oh. Uh, force palm. It's an onyx! How can I miss? And, oh, berry power! Hell yeah! 
Game's just giving me all the cool Emeras. You bastard, do not hit the boy. Numb. Oh, hey, a rock. I could bean people with a rock now. Fear the ultimate power. Numb. Well, at least I didn't hit <laughs> Gabriel as well. Power boost Y. Here you go, boy. Artillery power online. Explore a little bit more, but only a little bit. Oh, that Larvitar was weak. Now, of course, there's a trap here, but berry power. Again, Emera Dust in Hallways is just creepy to me. But no lollygagging. As much as I'd like to get, like, uh, stuff. Don't want to risk too much. Haha, <laughs> my bite has upgraded. I should also use alliance moves more. They only drain belly. But if we're up against a tough target... Hey, good job there. <laughs> and that guy just died. Good job, Gabriel. Your power, your capacity for murder is spectacular. This almost feels like a remix of another song, like a... A Pokemon battle theme. I only... I look up. There's five billion. That just were not in there. That I did not see coming in. This dungeon part seems small enough to go. Nom. Why does this place even have ghosts? Well, you're a fuck. Let's not get too deep. Don't want to waste too much power points and too much belly meandering for items that may not be there. If only I had an item that allowed me to see... Like, you know what? I missed the ability my Zorua had to see items on floors. I remember when my Zorark Koga, uh, who was Dynamax, missed a, gigantic, a Gigantamax Snorlax. I was like, how? Uh, I don't think I've played the Giga Gigantamax games yet. Is it a box? It is a box. Plefki back in town will open treasure boxes for you. Bring one back to town and visit the rock and lock. For some reason, my brain went, why does that sound like a, a brothel? How dare you die. Quit, it's a lavatar. How are you missing? And trap proof. Well, might as well until we fill it out properly. I'm going to throw rocks at you, because you deserve that. Rock. Rock. I'll identify you. Ways to fall to shove it! Die. Dizzying stare for you too.
fairy power compels you. You're a fucking Lovator! Fuck off! You're not speedier than me! Quit being speedy and die. At least I'm leveling up. Super fast. Hmm. I'll give Confusion Guard to you. Let's get out of here. Super critical! You leave the boy alone and prepare your demise. And I'll just eat these extra Oran berries. Fill, bear, um, fill my belly and raise my HP. You're an asshole. Prepare to die. Right after I got super critical, too. <laughs> I don't know, apparently there's a Skrelp just taking all the rocks. I don't really care about you. I mean, I guess I could have used it, but yeah. Hey, a berry power for the boy! Double berry power! Are you a mask? What? I can't believe a human died here. Let me go if you check. That doesn't seem like two. We have to get closer. I was gonna say something. And then I forgot, got distracted. Get punched, Buffalant. You ugly thing. How dare you lower the power? You are going to die today. Die a horrible death. And first things first, we shall eat a normal apple. And we shall use an elixir to get my powers back. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, you stay in there. Uh, I'll just throw rocks at you until you die, if you don't mind. Rock. Rock. Uh, one more rock, I guess. Uh, I don't think that you're you're in my your hitbox is not in my way just yet. Or are you? Yeah, you are. Your hitbox is weird. What is with all the onyx? Is here? Yeah. <laughs> They're big and scary here in Mystery Dungeon Land. Because they are big. Uh, yeah, honestly, we're never going to really run into that many things, so not. Seeing a giant red blob appear on the map is terrifying. We'll beat this guy and gather up the, uh, the dust. Oi, no running away. But we will get a move on. Another apple. Huzzah. And... Go ahead and eat the apple dropped. 
almost wasted this. Oh, it's just trap proof. Do I care? I already have trap proof, so numb. Oh, this is just the apple room. You motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. Is there anything in here I care to swap out? Like pistol berry. Boy, my boy, don't get in the way. You couldn't disable my shit, you fucker. I don't even know what my ability is as a Riolu. Let's see. I mean, I guess I could use this. I'll use it on you, so if we ever get a, a good one. Well, that's just me. I'm gonna kill you. There's nothing I can do, because you just... You, you, I wish I could just foresight you from here. You're just a very mean man. Ghosts should not be fast. They're ghosts. So it's about time that we use our revive seeds, really. How long until you think you'll reach the village or the town? No idea! ran out of his artillery. Please die. You're just an annoying little guy. Motherfucker, I just gave it to him. Spike should not be a move in this game, I swear. It's just annoying. Especially because it obviously wouldn't do anything to the enemy. With the enemy, you'd just be like, oh, it, it, it exists. Unless the enemy also have power points. I'd be very annoyed. Good, get paralyzed, bitch. At least we have a lot of apples. We don't have to worry about that. For the foreseeable future, anyway. But we should probably get a move on. Well, first we'll gather up these... This emerald dust. Oh, hey! Shop! We have things we can do. Max elixir... Sure. Oh. Our <laughs> diddly D's too, too much. Cover looplet, but it's only four. Oh, that was actually a wand there. Another cover looplet. Nobody cares about your cover looplets. The cover looplets are nothing. You're gonna have this chesto berry. Let's see. You're gonna have this petrify orb. And now we'll come and buy him. I have all the money in the world. See if I can get to that Imra. We should be able to. Guard boost. Yes, please. Die. Why did that one Larvitar die to like 38 damage and all these other ones have just been taking so many hits? Let's see. Do I care to use... An elixir on myself just yet. Yeah, it shouldn't it should be able to. Why not? Good, he died. Nice. 
Another MRR. Clairvoyance. Locates items on the floor. What should I replace with that? I guess uh, trap proof. We haven't been running that many. And now... We can just see where things of importance are. Go to them immediately. And get the fuck out. Wander no more, shall we? Kill this guy, we will. We have berry power. We don't care. Now nah, you got this, Gabriel. Kick his ass. I do find it funny that Gabriel has an ability that increases his speed. Because it just it fits him so well. He just gets super hyperactive. It's like, yeah, I won that battle. I'm going to level up my vacuum punch on you. How dare. Die. Another box! <laughs> well, what do we drop for you? The surround wand, obviously. Nobody cares about surround sound anymore. Okay, rocks. A motherfucker just came in here and took my god boost. It was right there! All of the items are being stolen by motherfuckers! Hey, Power Boost X, yes. Uh, the second guard boost can be replaced. So I do more- <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ, what?! Why is there so much Emera dust?! It makes no sense! It's horrifying! <laughs> I just, I see a bunch of dust on the ground, I'm just like, what the fuck? I once successfully stole from Kecleon, and felt like <laughs> that one Spongebob scene. <laughs> huh, I've never, I don't, I don't think I've heard that one, the For the Krusty Krab Bin one. The only, uh, like, for a moment, I thought it was going to be like that scene where uh, Sandy is like, because like, there's a uh, SpongeBob and Patrick are running away. And then they, uh, like, at least uh, Patrick gets caught by Sandy's lasso and <laughs> gets pulled into the back and exploded. Vacuum wave. Let's get out of here. Oh. I thought that was going to be longer. I think we made it pretty far, but I still don't see a way out. Oh, I see some light over there. Let's go check it out, Neon. We're free. And I, I see a town in the corner of the, t the screen. Oh. There's a big town over there, Neon. It has to be Lively Town. Let's go see! Neat. And we only died once in there. And came close to starving in the, in the mountains. Ooh. <laughs> Confagrius is back! They have a lighthouse! Neat! And houses that are a little bit different. Wow! It looks a lot livelier than Serene Village, alright? It is called Lively Town. But is this really a lively town? Well, let's uh, go ask around. Excuse me, ma'am. What a rude child! I'm clearly a miss, not a man! Oops, sorry. Excuse me, miss. Is this Lively Town? Yes, it is! Is this your first time here? Cause like you could easily get lost, so stick of your parents, okay? 
Well, that'll be hard because we didn't bring him along. All right. I knew we had to. We made it to Lively Town. Let's go, Neon. Hey, Hal Halucha's here, or at least a Halucha. Watch me and remember, Halucha Slam School. But what if I w change abilities? <laughs> Without a Lucha token, I can't change abilities. Interesting. Which reminds me, what are my abilities? Mine is Inner Focus. Why, hello there. Out and about, are we? Just out doing the shopping. Ho, ho, ho. Don't get me too fired up. I'll produce fire from all over my body. Welcome to the Rock and Lock. I have some boxes you can open. So that'll be one hard box, huh? It'll cost you 150 pokey. That all right? Then here I go. Clickety click. It's open. And look here. That's some iron. You want something else? This nifty box. So that'll be one nifty box, huh? It'll cost you 150. That all right? Here I go. Clickety click. It's open. Look here. A dragon claw. Not nearly as uh, personality filled as I forget his name, but the box buster. Oh! Smash. In this town, you can live out your life of elegance while listening to music. That's the nice thing about it. The sun here has been strong lately. I prefer moonlight, though, yes. Huh. Lively Town is a beautiful town, but I wish we had more flowers. Someday I dream of filling this town with flowers. What's this? Looks like there's an old poster on the wall. What are you? Me oh, Meow Theater. Welcome, welcome, Meow. This is the Meow Theater, a special, very special theater where you are the star. I'll film your adventures in dungeons and turn your performances into a tour de force. Step right up, Meow. Welcome to the Meow Theater. Interesting. What? The two of you are on a trip by yourselves? I'm traveling too, as so I understand. But isn't it too dangerous for you? Well, we went over the mountains and through a cave, so we should be fine. Boy, I just can't stand any underhandedness. Looks like they have all kinds of shops and stuff here. Somewhere in this town, we should be able to find the Expedition Society. Let's go find it, Neon! Well, that guy's obviously gonna be a villain. Ouch! Don't just stand there with that dumb look on your face. That hurt! What kids, huh? Haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, this is just what I needed. I'm Crook Crook. I'm a notorious crook here in Lively Town. You pucks got any pokey? What? Is this what you call a shakedown? I just need a little. If you know what's good for you. What? What's happening? Wait! Oh! Yeah, get run over, idiot. What just happened? Fuck, oh, crap, we got run over too. Uh, what was that all about? Oh well. Anyway, you punks. If you got any pokey, give me. Hold it, stop right there! Ah! This is the. This is the worst shakedown ever. What is this deal? Man, I don't even feel up to this anymore. Maybe I'll just head to the cafe and try to forget my sorrows. <laughs> what even was that all about? They were chasing, like, the cotton candy cloud. Thing back and forth. Huh. Well, we were saved, I guess. I had no idea what that was all about, though. Anyway, we've got to find the Expedition Society. Let's go, Neon! I may look skinny, but I work just as hard as anyone else. I wonder, can I just drink my... Iron from here? I cannot. Weird. Uh, first things first. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Hmm. 
Welcome to the Kecleon shop. I have a bunch of apples to sell you. Buy some apples. Right this minute. And what are you selling? A normal reviver seed? Hell yeah. What even is a normal reviver? First, first things first, what is it? Because it's just, it's probably just a normal, but I want to read it. No particular effect, but it revives a fainted Pokemon if you have it in the bag. So it's basically, yeah, just better reviver seed. Because this one... Yeah, but it doesn't restore Pokemon's PP or belly. But still, might as well buy up items that could be handy later. And you, Confagrius, what do you've got to say? <laughs> Welcome to my glorious gold! My gold bar exchange. Exchange any sparklies you got right here. Yes! Sparklies! Glorious! So he gives normal reviver seeds for one. Wow. Interesting. Gold looplet? What is a gold looplet? It's a looplet with a beautiful glow holding. It has no effect, but you can add various effects. So yeah, basically, it's a thing that you can sell, but it also comes with a base lot of, like, Imara slots. Mega Donut? Huh. Four Leaf Cookie. Progress Device Asterisk. In a dungeon where a progress device has been installed... What? You can buy a progress device and install it permanently into a dungeon? I assume? And of course, Luca... Yeah, Lucha Token. It's proof that you're a real Halucha maniac. Collect them and take them to Lucha to change abilities. And of course, various proteins and stuff. Power drink. Raises the power, accuracy, or... Okay, those are good. Then various type moves, or um, TM moves for various uh, Pokemon, probably. Hmm, focus Blast. I wish I could follow the link. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Damages Pokemon far away. I miss the more... Like, uh... Like, it doesn't even tell me what, like, type it is. <laughs> Vitamins for one gold bar. That is two stats for one gold bar. Hmm. But yeah, I think that I'm definitely going to use this gold exchange a lot more. Let me quickly read about you. During the adventure. If it permit if perfect apples permanently raised your belly, that would be broken. But very interesting. I'll definitely have to make use of you. Oh hey, Bayleaf. Yeah, we already know about that. Interesting, we can accept big ones here. You aren't from around here, are you? Nope. Well, I haven't seen you kids around here before. I'm drinking this for the nutrients so I can get out there and run some more. Don't you mean we? You have two heads. Well, I've been spotted at the cafe. I'm so embarrassed. I overcame sorrow to become strong. Harsh? Water's going round and round in a box. I wonder if I can clean something in it. It's almost time to prepare dinner, but I'll do my best. But aren't you very far away from Post Town? I become more powerful with moonlight. Interesting. Double scallop technique. That's my style. Who are you, punks? I'm not filling up for this today. Get away from me. Shoo! Hey, Mama Kangaskhan. Or at least a Mama Kangaskhan. 
Wow, Super Mystery Dungeon, why do you have two MILFs? Well, I guess we go up here now. Oh, but yeah, going back to the chat, vitamins for one gold bar, that's two stats for one gold bar, and there is a trick with a certain rare item that you can use to double that. Huh. Kind of weird building, isn't it? Is this it? Let's see if I can read it. Um, this is the Expedition Society. If you need us, please come on in. Please, no solicitors. As if there really are sales Pokemon. Who would just read that and immediately walk away? Well, well, well. That's what it says. No doubt about it. Looks like this is the place. Let's go. What will happen, though? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? You'd think they'd have a reception desk. I guess there's no one here. Maybe they're in another room. Let's go look for them. Well, again, this is going to probably be like awkward for them because again they'll be like who are these sassy lost children this is the dining hall if you have any leftovers i'll take care of them please leave them to me please definitely feels like a dining hall it's just silence in here <laughs> Something else that I will note is that missions in the connection orb with those gold sparkles around them mean that job will unlock a new dungeon somewhere in the world upon completion. Hmm. <laughs> like, without any furniture or stuff, even though Pokemon probably wouldn't need them, these feel very kind of sparse. Well, let's head on up. Neon, look at that! We probably shouldn't touch it. I can see something in the middle of it. Is that a big map? Well, Neon, I think this is the Pokemon Nexus. Wow, so this is it? Yep, I think it is. Look, there are parts where you can see what places look like, but others you can't. How about that? The places we can't see are covered in clouds. The Pokemon Nexus is a very mysterious map. When we find new places, those clouds will clear away. That's how we can make a map of our world, piece by piece. Oh, out of the way! Coming through! What's going on? You're not getting away this time, Swirlix! Uh, when will you learn? Don't you see what you've done, Swirlix? Can you promise never to do that again? I can't promise that! There's no way! Sheesh! Always eating up all the good stuff all by yourself. I've had enough! Oh, you just, you hurt the Nexus! You idiot! You fool! The Pokemon Nexus! Jesus! Okay, that's not on Swirlix. That is on Dendene. My blood, sweat, and tears! All for nothing! Archon, now's not the time for that! Buzo's right! I'm still more upset about the food! You have you, skewed priorities there. Oh, my belly! All of a sudden, I got so hungry! I can't take it, I'm gonna pass out! What? Why would you do that? I mean, the ones who haven't eaten anything... That's us. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. We're okay. It's just... We're just so hungry. We can't even move. Um, are you guys who I think you are? Yep, we are the Expedition Society. But right now, all of our Expedition Society's food was devoured by that glutton. What? But she's passed out on the floor from hunger while we're still standing. You are not standing at all. It's really incredible. Anyway, none of us can move if we don't figure something out. Sorry, we need some food. We're on it. Let's go to the plaza and get some food for them, Neon. 
I do not have faith in this expedition society at all. Well, I guess if they were on the brink of starvation to the point they can't even move, I guess maybe breaking the... Well, then again, obviously they had enough energy to attack it. Well, at least we saved the day, I guess. So, good introduction? And at least we aren't the reasons that the Nexus was broke. Whew, what a tasty meal. Yeah, I'm stuffed. Stuffed, I tell ya. Alright, I feel alive again. Thanks. Yeah, I was really worried for a second there. It's your fault that we were in that mess. Having said that, you did great getting all that food. Yep, everybody thought we were young traveling Pokemon in distress. So, when we went to the plaza, they all kindly gave us lots of good food. Which is funny, because we have probably enough, more than enough food to <laughs> at least get some. Oh, I see. Thanks to- thanks, you young traveling Pokemon you. By the way, you two, what brings you here today? If you've come for a tour, Bottleby will gladly show you around the place. But it's already too late today. Come back tomorrow, huh? No, we're not here for a tour. We want to work here. We want to join the Expedition Society. What? Well, you want to join the Expedition Society? We do owe you for the food and all. So I'd really like to help you out, but I can't. Kids aren't allowed in the Expedition Society. Sorry. We knew that, but we still want to join. We'll do anything. We'll work so hard. I'm begging you, please, let us join the Expedition Society. Okay, fine by me. Why is it up to you, Swirlix? It's the Chief's decision. Last I checked, you're not the Chief, Swirlix. Well, I just kind of figured that's what the Chief would say. There's no way! The one who decided not to allow kids was the Chief in the first place! Okay, fine by me. It's a Mawile! Hell yeah! Mawile's one of my favorite Pokemon, and they're here! Chief? Oh, Mawile, welcome home! Thanks, I'm back, everybody. And Ampharos? What are you doing here? Long time no see, children of Serene Village. Huh? Chief, do you know these kids or something? Why, yes, I do, Bunnelby. We have done some adventuring together, and so I propose we accept these children into our expedition society. What? But we have a rule that we do not allow kids. Why, now that you mention it, we did indeed have such a rule. Well, 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 who could have decided upon such a troublesome regulation? Huh? Oh, it was me? Yes, it was. You made up that rule, Chief. Is that so? That does leave me in an awkward position. Very well, that rule is now null and void. What? It is, if it is I who decided it, then it's a simple matter. I need only to overrule my rule. Well, whatever you say, Chief. Very well, then. Are we all in agreement? Then it's decided. And with that, let us welcome these new members to our Expedition Society. Is no one going to worry about the fact the map just broke? Apparently not. Again, like, they were apparently on the brink of starvation. But rather than actually go and get food, they decide to exact vengeance. Granted, if you were starving... <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Some somehow, this guild seems less functional than Wigglytuffs. Gabriel and Neon of Serene Village! Please be nice to them. We promise to do our absolute best! Thanks for having us! Good to have you! Good luck. All right, guess I'll introduce myself. Oh, they get splash arts! Cool! I'm Buzo. I go on expeditions. I'm in charge of the underwater expeditions. Nice meeting ya. All right, my turn. Arch and I go out on expeditions too. I'm in charge of exploring the skies. I can't fly though. <laughs> I'll go next. My name's Denine. I have no idea how to pronounce that properly. I take care of communications around here. My role is to use my whiskers to transmit signals to and from all our members. Nice to meet you. 
I'm Buddleby, our resident underground specialist. Uh, um, I'm Swirlix. I'm the steward here at the Expedition Society. I cook everybody's meals, but they're just so delicious. I can never wait. See, that's just what I'm talking about. You've got to cut that out. I'm Mawile. I'm an archaeologist. I'm conducting research on the history of the world. If there's anything you're unsure of, just come ask me. I'm just so happy that, like, a Mawile is here. Mawile's one of my favorite Pokemon. Just so cool. De-dene. de, -dine. de -dine, Apparently. And lastly, myself. Allow me to introduce myself anew. I am Ampharos, chief of the Expedition Society. Whatever I do, I do it stylishly. That's my motto. I look forward to working with you. Chief, you just said you were last, but we have one more member that isn't here, right? Oh, him? Well, I think he must already be sleeping today. Allow me to introduce you to him when the opportunity next presents itself. Um, I get that you're the chief of the Expedition Society, Ampharos, but when we asked you back in Serene Village, I was sure. Hey, Ampharos, are you part of the Expedition Society? No, I am not. Huh? Y you're not? Back then, you told us you didn't work at the Expedition Society. And that's right. I don't work here. I manage. As the chief, I must make all of these Pokemon work. Ew, that's so obnoxious. What a terrible thing to say. I don't want to work for a boss like that. Hey, everybody, let's start thinking about where we want to work next. Oh, do you all really mean that, friends? P please reconsider. Whatevs. Gabriel, Mian, let's go. I'll show you the room. Okay. Wait! Maybe we should hit the hay too, huh? Ampharos gets no respect. Good night, Chief. Oh dear, I am in a tough spot. Ampharos? Mawile, please don't you give up on me like the others, please. Would you let that go already? Before we even get to that, could we talk about those two kids? I'm surprised you accepted them. Yep, I quite surprised myself too. But those two were simply radiant when I met them in Serene Village. Perhaps I was blinded by that light. I'll be sure not to botch things this time. We'll meet... What do you mean this time? Did children die on your watch last time? We'll need to watch over those two and provide continuing support. It's a job for all of us here at the Expedition Society. Here it is. Wow. We were lucky enough to have an opening for you. This is big enough for you, for the two of you, right? Um, Dietany? You guys were all just talking about going to work somewhere else. Oh, <laughs> that? It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Nobody would quit the Expedition Society. Phew, what a relief. You must be tired from your trip. Get a good night's sleep tonight. I just work here, though. I don't actually live here. So, if you need anything, just ask one of the other members, okay? Well, good night, then. It's, a, it's almost kind of worrisome that the communications officer isn't here 24-7. Good night. Neon. Gabriel. We did it. We joined the Expedition Society. We really did it, didn't we? <laughs> Yippee! Even if it does feel like we're living in a storage room. Right? It's late already, so I guess we shouldn't get too excited, though. But anyway, we really did join the Expedition Society today. Let's sleep really hard tonight, and let's work hard tomorrow! Was... <laughs> At least that went easy. They were like, well, there's a rule. We, there's a rule that we can't uh, recruit children. Ampharos comes in. It's like, I'll strike it from the record. Ampharos, the benevolent dictator. 
the next morning. Morning, Neon! Today's the day we start doing real work for the Expedition Society. I'm a little nervous, but let's do our best! Why do we have a coiled rope in our room? Chapter 12, Life at the Expedition Society. Oh, yeah. Didn't the Pokemon Nexus get wrecked yesterday? I see. And so it has been just AGAIN?! Really? Again? How many times has this happened? And so it has been destroyed again. Well, well, well. Well, again? Yesterday isn't the first time the Pokemon Nexus has been smashed. To tell the truth, that actually happens all the time. What? Really? From what I saw yesterday, I can imagine. Man, all my hard work down the drain again. It was looking pretty good this time, too. It's not about how many times you get knocked down, Archon. It's about how many times you get back up. Do not lose heart. Let's get back to work. We'll have Jirachi repair the Pokemon next... <laughs> Jirachi? He's not living in a cave this time? <laughs> he just exists here? He lives here? We'll have Jirachi repair the Pokemon Nexus for us again. Once it has been fixed, let's continue with our map making. Who was it that was going to try, uh, try going after Archon again? Um, yeah, whose turn was it? I guess I forgot the order. Let's reconsider that once the Pokemon Nexus has been repaired. But first, I must give official Expedition Society goods to our new recruits. Gabriel, Neon, give it your all today and every day. Ooh, an official expedition bag. Is it bigger? Use it just as you have up until now. The connection orb you should, uh, you have should suffice, so please continue using it. One more thing. There was the matter of the junior expedition badges. The truth is that those were the real thing all along. Yes, those were actual proper expedition badges. Please continue using them just as you have been. So basically, he just didn't give us a full bag. <laughs> Very well then, everyone. Let's do our best out there again today. Yeah! Oh, I have a little favor to ask of you two. What is it? I'll do anything. Well, it won't require too much of you. I'd like you to go wake up Jirachi for me. Jirachi? Yes. He does sleep for quite a long time, and does not wake up easily once he's out. Well, anyway, Jirachi is up on the floor above us. Hopefully we don't have to fight him imme <laughs> immediately. Oh boy, fighting a legendary for the first time! Just annihilated. Please wake him up and tell him I would like to see him. The Pokemon Nexus is broken. This is the Chief's Command Center. I'm sure there's a lot to take in, and you won't get used to it overnight. But keep doing your best. Hey, Mawile, you have a cool room. And this is the archaeological records room. We do research about the past here. You can't just take things from this room. But if there's something you're interested in, let me know. That's cool. Oh. And Jirachi's just sleeping in the corner. <laughs> this place is amazing! What could this room be used for? Astrology, maybe? Hunt Neon, over there! There's a Pokemon just floating there sleeping. Maybe that's Jirachi! Yeah, you got me. Uh, I'm Jirachi. I knew it! Okay, rise and shine! Ampros wants to see you! Yeah, okay. But I'm still far too sleepy to deal with all that right now, sorry. Huh? One more thing. I apparently toss and turn a lot while I'm sleeping. So if you were standing right there, I might just up and attack you. If I do, sorry. What? Here I go. So this is this is the boss battle. 
Again, you seem pretty awake right now. Luckily, I was always ready. Totter! Oh, you broke out of that very quick. Jesus! Find then! Petrify! I... Oh, I, I meant to click yes, you, so I'm gonna die. Oh, good, he missed. Keep flinching, please. Oh, because he had to, he probably had an ability that wiped bad status effects from him. That's what that was happening each time. Whoa! Just what? What's going what's going to wake up? Whoa! Ah! Hey now! My eyes are wide open! I woke up from that dream so suddenly. Huh? Who are you two? I just saw you in my dream. That was no dream. You're trying to kill us! In my dream, you two were engaged in a heroic battle. At least I think so. Oh, that's so strange. The Pokemon I just saw in my dream are standing here right in front of me. Wait a minute. Are you two... Fairies? Neither of us are even fairy type! N no! We're not fairies! I'm Gabriel, and this is Neon. We joined the Expedition Society yesterday. The Expedition Society? Oh, are you saying you're new recruits? Yeah, Ampharos told us to come and wake you up. I see, you should have said something sooner. Very well, as is my custom, allow me to introduce myself. Here I go. I was born in Star Cave. Here I observe the movements of the stars and the sun. And while I'm at it, I make everyone's dreams come true. Maybe. I'm the Expedition Society's astronomer, Jirachi, the genius. Nice to meet you. I do get sleepy pretty quickly, though, so I can't just keep observing all the time. So if you don't mind, I'll be going to sleep now. Good night. Whoa, hold it right there. Bash his face into the counter. I see. Broken again, is it? Well, it's just a little broken. Understood. I'll fix it by tomorrow. I am a genius, after all. Please do. Very well, then. As for you, too. Ah, uh, you both seem to be sweating rather profusely. It's as if you'd had just engaged in a pissed boss battle. He's right. You okay? Yeah, don't worry about us. We're okay. Jirachi really doesn't remember anything. I see. I would like you two to get started with your Expedition Society work right away. All right. You'll be doing the same things you have been doing up until now. Have a peek at the connection orb and go on expeditions. Got it. We just have to do what we were doing in Serene Village here in Lively Town. That's right. The expedition badges you have already distributed remain valid, so the Pokemon that you have befriended will continue helping you on your expeditions. Do your best out there. <laughs> now I'm just imagining summon, summoning Deerling. And she's just like, I was in the middle of school, but I guess I can go help you through these dangerous dungeons. You got it. Thanks, Ampharos. All right, Neon. This is our first job since we joined the Expedition Society. Let's give it our all. Do your best for the Expedition Society. I should have it all fixed up by tomorrow. I am a genius after all. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Where am I? <laughs> Floor two, okay. We can easily do that. Jirachi's so cute. It is a very nice, cute design. A genius, and yet they still don't realize they can make a backup uh, of the Nexus. Well, if they can just fix the Nexus in a day, unless they actually do lose all the data each time, which would just be... <laughs> it would be very silly. Then again, these are Pokemon. They probably don't have any clue what computer backups are. The kids from school cannot be used right now. They are marked as having other things to do. Ah, that makes sense. Because that is a mechanic they introduced. 
I wonder if they introduced it purely for the school children. It's just like, we can't just have them pop in when they're supposed to be gone, narratively speaking. I wasn't stealing food! I swear! I do not believe you. Eat my food, cotton candy ball, and I will kill you. I like this. I like the design on the floor. It's nice. Da 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 da. Why do they live in a castle? That's something to wonder about. Take that! And that! Oh, hey, are you the... I forget what your Pokemon name is, but... Have you been uh, traveling and you got yourself a little dojo here? I'm teaching martial arts to the children here. Care to join us? I get enough martial arts practice in actual practice. Mianfu's teaching martial arts again. <laughs> Mianfu has fantastic form, just watch! Are you are you checking out your teacher? Uh, uh, nothing like a nice morning run! Better keep going! And then there's just unknown here. I'm you! Are you unknown? Yes, I am. There are really all kinds of Pokemon in this town. It's more like a city at this point. Double scallop technique. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> is no one going to question the fact that Neon and Gabriel is gone? Oh, at the uh, end of last stream, everybody was nice and accepted the fact that we were going to leave. They're like, while we don't like necessarily agree, it was like, go out there and do it anyway. I can disguise myself as many different Pokemon. Amazed? Boing! Life is all about the boing! For some reason, my brain wants to <laughs> add the supplemental word of uh, kinky. But it was a very emotional moment when we left the village. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, Rampardos! I'm Rampardos! I used to run a business called Bugbuster! I wonder how Chin Shu's doing it. Ah, oh, you didn't get married? I'd like to be a first rate adventurer someday. Uh, you already are in my book. Hey, Drowsy! I can eat dreams. How do they taste? Not bad. I'm why. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I think I'll treat myself to a little break at the old cafe. Shopping can really take it out of a Pokemon, don't you know? Any good rumors lately? I love me a good rumor. The fire inside my body is burning! Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Definitely buy some more apples. Uh, the, the official Explorer bag didn't increase our capacity. But since we're going to a smaller dungeon, I do not think we need too, too much. But we do need uh, some orbs. We'll take a totter and a slumber. Hmm, I wonder what this... What this one is. You can now go to Longfield Cave. You can now go to Sunbathed Cave. You can now go to Serpentine Mountain Trail. You can now go to the Electric Wasteland. Why would anyone ever want to go to the Electric Wasteland? But then I want to see what's over this way. If that's the dungeon way, what's down this way? Ooh, to the lighthouse. We're just carrying the latest shipments of goods from the harbor to the plaza. We work in transportation. Get a lot of a quite a lot of shipments from the other continents. This is Lapras Travel Liner. If you'd like to go overseas, I can take you there. You can buy a pass at Kecleon Shop. From the looks of you, you're both children, right? Children must be accompanied by an adult. We appreciate your understanding. Yeah, understandable. You don't want crazed parents coming for your head because you lost them at sea. But that does imply that we go to the other continents. That could be the post game. Let's see. Connection orb. 
because we have easy Pachirisu level. Then there's this guy, which is like, how about a battle at Pee Wee Meadow? Hmm. I guess I'll grab a few uh, blast seeds and we'll take that guy down. And then we'll also want to take a looplet with us. Of which, let's see. I guess just a normal attack looplet will do. I like the music that plays in this game. This is very nice. And we'll take uh, two more blast seeds and we'll go fight the... I keep forgetting, I keep want to call, I want to call his entire line slack off. I keep forgetting. Well, let's go fight the, fight the guy. I'm gonna kick your ass. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Because we could, we need. I forget, it's like a normal type, I think. So I don't know. We have such a variety of people that we can select here. Ba 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 ba. I guess we can just bring Victini along. He's a happy little guy. Give him the attack looplet from Twitch chat. How long uh, till the YouTube bot? I missed your whole first two hours. Well, if you want to watch it immediately, you can find the raw stream in the raw stream uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. But if you want to wait for the actual one, it'll be a few days because I upload a VOD every two days. So my YouTube VOD slowly catch up to me and it only falls behind if I forget to upload. So it's just like, depends on brain and timing. Meh. Let's go, Victini. We're gonna go fight a big ape man in Pee Wee Meadow. Because he's a weirdo. Da, da, da. I'll just use that immediately. Cut performer is not my vibes. Yeah, I'm sure they can annihilate him. Good job. Barrage Guard, we don't really run into that many, so I'll just use. I really like the music here. The music in these games are just always great. Defense Guard, how about your Defense Guard minutes? See, this is why we bring Victini. He annihilates things. How dare you! And excessive force. I guess I'll put that on just cause. And that'll be like an early replaceable. It's nice to have a, a three Pokemon team again. But this doesn't feel very Peewee or Meadow. Honestly, I'll just nom. God, you are just an annoying little bastard. With your... With your ups and your ups and your ups and your ups. Again, just random Emera dust will always be just mildly terrifying to me. You fool! I love the music. It's always just ear catching and lovely. I need to make like my own personalized mystery dungeon music playlist and then maybe if I ever play 
games that don't really have much, like, music to them. I can, or like, a, I don't know, like, <laughs> maybe like if I've ever played like a multiplayer game. I can just have Mystery Dungeon music playing in the background. What's with all this, the guard ones? I don't care about the guards. You're a bastard, you know that? You little bug man. I didn't even get to see what the looplet that was. It is a special defense looplet, but it is only... Well, I guess it's technically the same. You're a bastard, and I will punch you to death. How dare you. I hate your accuracy bullshit. Let me punch you and level up my vacuum punch. And a pure seed. But whenever you want, just get the fuck out. Although I do like this song, it does feel like this song is appearing a lot in this mystery dungeon game. Eh, we should get out of here before I die to the poison. Oh! Also, I forgot there was a traveling Pokemon on this floor, I think. You utter bastard. Poisoning me on this floor like a cunt. Fine, I shall... Oh, wait, I have a Pekka Berry. I'm an idiot. I just... I'm never expected to get poisoned. So I never prepare to have... stuff. Dusko looks sort of satisfied. I completely forgot that you existed. Because I, I read it. It's just like, oh, yeah, there's a traveling Pokemon on this floor. Immediately forgot. <laughs> And now we are connected to Duskull and his bank. I was hoping that. You are short on Pokey, are you not? <laughs> Don't steal my Pokey. <laughs> He's just like, you know, I know another Riolu. He kicked a lot of ass. And, by Duskull's introduction, Persian! <laughs> the bankers all know each other. That's funny. Well, all know each other. The two bankers know each other. I would not like to escape. Yeah, you know what? You can stay over there. As we go on to fight Bastard Boy. I'm gonna punch you in your face and your schnozza. Focus all the energy you want, die. I didn't get a barrage. Let's go kick some ass. All right, first things first. Slumber Orb. Well, that's a very me- Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at you and then select Force Palm. So I probably should have taken that Slumber Guard. And hey, guess what? Totter Orb!
Ah, vacuum wave has evolved. <laughs> Yes, get into a corner, you idiot. Yeah, get confused, idiot. B bully this guy. Bully this guy in Pee Wee Meadow. And we beat up all his friends, too, for the extra experience. I can tell you're strong, even though you didn't go all out. I didn't either. I think we can get along. I did abuse orbs against you. I think that's kind of going all out. <laughs> he introduces me to Shrubbish. And by Slacking's introduction... Vigoroth? Oh. <laughs> the guy we immediately saw there. Would have been funny if he introduced us to the very excitable... Like, middle or like, early evolution of his line. Hmm. Well, this seems like an easy time. Oh, it's... Mm. Do we want to look for more items? I don't think... I forgot... I... Oh, wait. I forgot to drink my iron. And in the Twitch chat, I think the song appearing a lot is because gate songs are sparingly spread around in the optional dungeons. Only using some of the songs. So the early half of the game has a bunch of early gate songs repeating. Hmm, that's understandable. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Dinner's ready. All right, time to chow down. Huh? Swirlix, did you? Huh? You've got crumbs all over your face. That is a nightmare face indeed. You've been snacking on our dinner, haven't you? Everybody, quick! Hurry before there's nothing left! And now we're back to the explorers. Seeing everybody eat before bed. Thanks for cooking. Ooh, that was good. After eating so much, I feel so sleepy. Shall we call it a day, then? What? Are you trying to eat all the leftovers by yourself? It's over. Give it up. Thanks for cooking. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. That's kind of funny. A gluttonous chef that you have to be careful of lest they eat all your food. The next morning... Neon, let's give it our all again today. Everybody, the Pokemon Nexus is officially fixed. Oh, it's just like it used to be. Wait a sec, isn't it? Such stylish repairs. I knew I could count on you, Jirachi. And so quickly, too. And it just came to my mind. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Of course. I'm a genius at this, after all. We'll have to redo the whole map, huh? Everything outside of the water continent, we have to do it all again. Yeah, what did you expect? I may be a genius, but even I can't just recreate all that data. All my hard work down the drain. <laughs> well, it's not like it's the first time this has happened. Come on, team, a new map. Time for us to get down to business. Who was next in line for map duty? Oh yeah, about that. I was actually thinking that I want Gabriel and Neon to take the next turn for us. What, Gabriel and Neon? That's right, it's true they don't have any experience. But when you think about it, that might actually be a good thing. Mapping the world is a completely new task for these two, and the newer it is, the more passion they will approach their duty with. Unlike you all. This works out well for Gabriel the boy, he, that, that, it's, his, it's his dream to do this, so he's just getting handed his dream. That's cool. <laughs> PMD is realistic because goofy fellas will pop off when dinner's ready. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, there's really not the same thrill going back to a place you've explored before. We've all had to redo the map so many times now that I've lost count. It's become more like a job than anything. 
Brilliant idea, boss. I bet these two will make a fantastic new map for us. It looks like there are no objections then. So how about the two of you? This is a very important task. Can we count on you to do it? Uh, of course you can! It's always been my dream to do something like this! But are you sure we can do a good enough job? Of course. We wouldn't, ha we wouldn't have let you join if we didn't expect great things from you. Good luck. Find a new land with yummy things to eat, okay? Thanks, everyone. We'll sure try. We'll do our best so you can count on us. And that settles that. How about I show you how this works? You have a connection orb, right? Er, well, if a junior expedition gadget will work, then Neon has one. Good enough. Take the connection orb out of your gadget and put it in the Nexus. Let me guess, it's not even a junior gadget. It's just literally just a normal gadget. <laughs> Look, there's a notch right there for it. Plop it right in there. Neon took the connection orb from the Junior Expedition Gadget. I guess he means this? Neon fit the connection orb into the notch on the Pokemon Nexus. With a resounding click. Oh! Now it looks like the Pokemon Nexus that we saw yesterday. And that's all there is to it. Your connection orb is now synced up to the Pokemon Nexus. Synced up? Oh, this is no good. I forgot to even give you this. <laughs> An expedition gadget <laughs> to replace the one. Oh, it's prettier. Is this another junior expedition gadget? No, it's a proper expedition gadget this time. It's already been registered with your team's name. Unlike that junior expedition gadget, this one lets you talk with Dedene. I, uh, I'm just gonna call them dead today. It's my brain is just never gonna properly get it to work. It's like Muna and Mana, except that one was only one letter I didn't know how to pronounce. You connected to the Wi-Fi. Congrats. <laughs> so now, if you'll just take the connection all back from the Pokemon Nexus and pop it into this expedition gadget, you should be in business. <laughs> That's funny. Now it has all the primary colors. Isn't this? It's the same as the Pokemon Nexus. That's right. It's the same map as the Pokemon Nexus. That's how you sync up your expedition gadget in the Pokemon Nexus. And it's not just the map. It also lets you update your Expedition Society rank too. Your Expedition Society rank? That's right. Increasing your rank in the Expedition Society will get you rewarded and give you an upper hand when it comes to going out on expeditions. Seriously? I never knew! Let's do it, Neon! Let's make the best map ever! You and me! This is sweet. <laughs> Yo, they have the PowerPoint! <laughs> That's the spirit! It's a task that many of our members have taken on, and one many have failed. But don't be disheartened! Fight the good fight! And on that note, friends, let's get out there and do some exploring. Yes, sir. I like this. Not that way, Chief. Just follow me. Uh, right. Uh, thank you, my good Dandene. I like that it seems that he has two handlers. Dandene and uh, <laughs> Mawile. Just making sure he doesn't... <laughs> go crazy the world is vast and that's exactly why it's both worth uh, learning more about I added a both in there for some reason please do your best on behalf of the expedition society if anything happens I'll transmit a signal to you I like this I really really like this huh you want to know why I'm using my telescope in the middle of the day I'm observing the Sun naturally how are you not blind? Of course, you shouldn't look straight into the sun. I'm using a special filter. Good. But uh, I'm already starting to feel sleepy again. Is that the sun? I can see the sun through this filter. You just know Jirachi has seen the sun's atmosphere. <laughs> of course, an orange in here. Good luck with your work! Remember that there will be tasty food waiting for you once you're done. I'll be sure to eat until... Look, I mean, to not eat until you return. 
I also like that they're using, like, interesting Pokemon for the... Like, that's the thing. They use interesting Pokemon for the guilds so far. In Explorers, they had Sunflora. They had a Bidoof. They had Krogunk. They had a Chimaku, a Wigglytuff, Chatot. Here they have Arch... Like, they just have a bunch of cool Pokemon that you don't, like, immediately expect to be used like this. I like that. It just, it's super cool. It's a school day today. And we're not in school. I like going to school. Don't you two go to school? We used to. I don't think, I don't feel like I've seen you around. Do you travel around with your dads too or something? How do you know that we only have fathers and not mothers? I'm taking a trip with my dad. This is the biggest town there is uh, uh, there is here on the water continent. I wonder why that is. Good morning, lovely day, isn't it? I also find it funny that like every major town since Gates to Infinity has had like a grass milf wandering around. My rage is on fire. I'll burn everything. One hit KO. That will be my ideal. Here I come. Don't you dare punch me. Morning. Just out delivering the daily dairy. Just let me know if you'd like to try some of the freshest milk in town too. That almost, that almost makes it sound like you want me to suck on your teats. How about no? Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Do I have any fresh apples to sell? I have a singular, singular apple to sell. I'm moving my apple business here. I'll take over all the water continents. Apple production. <laughs> also, I just realized... We, uh, did not use, uh, we did not use our, uh, blast seeds against the bastard. I need to use my iron when we get into the next diddly D. ba 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 And as always, we'll take a slumber and a petrify. Oh yeah, we forgot. What do you have to uh, sell as well? Why is it... Uh, I guess it boosts the critical hit rate, so it's worth 2,000. But still, Jesus! But I wonder if there's gonna be, like, any gut-punching moments. Ones that just come out and make you die a little inside. Well, let's check our connection orb. There's a new one over here. Mankey. The mighty Mankey needs a good battle! Battle me now! Hmm. We'll accept, but we might not do it just yet. Hmm. Well, it's been a bit, so... I guess we could try the Bayleaf one. I'm not sure if it'll go, because I don't know if we have, like, the key to get in. Maybe that's why it's a high-level one? I have this letter that needs to be delivered to a girl I adore! Oh, Barum Town? How do we get there? I dropped my treasure somewhere. Would you go looking for it? Uh, Longfield Cave. Sure, we'll not it, note you down. 
true, respectfully. Who cared about Kecleon or Wigglytuff before PMD? I'm sure there were probably some Wigglytuff appreciators, but Kecleon was just kind of a weird gimmick in Generation 3. At least half of the fan art of many of these Pokemon have scarves and badges. <laughs> Ain't that true? Wow, it really is like the big city. You're ditto, aren't you? You're not actually Sentra, you're a ditto. Your face looked weird. Help me give a lesson to Primate, please, why not? Well, except... It's only on floor two, but still, that could be crazy. <laughs> From my YouTube chat, you wonder if there will be a gut punch? Insert Spongebob. How many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? True, but I always just kind of long for a good old gut punch. Don't make me mad. I breathe fire at anyone careless enough to anger me. I normally wander around to sell my wares, but the hills and mountains here are and, and the water continent, they're too much. I guess I'll just have to rest in the cafe, eh? Let's see. So we have a fight early on in a dungeon. We have the bay leaf one that's a little weird that we've had forever. We could try. We could try and help Pachirisu. I don't think we'll fight Primate because that's a little too much. Or find Quagsar. You know what? We'll, we'll go to the, the Honey Meadow. It's been a bit. And they gave it to us early, so... Surely it can't be that terrible. For a second, I'm gonna grab a... I'm gonna grab more uh, resources. I'm gonna manage my inventory well. Sorry, Glorious Gold. Uh, I did not mean to uh, talk to you. But he set up his stall here purely to look and see if people have... Like, gold. And he's just like, No, do not put your gold away. Put your gold in me. Just like a weirdo. I guess we can bring out some extra reviver seeds just in case. And a few extra elixirs. Now let's go to the Honey Nut Cheerio Land. Oh yeah, it's all the way up here. I wonder, since we can go to Lively Town. Nope, we cannot go back home. That would be kind of funny. We left and came back to Nectar Meadow. So we have to get all the way to the end. Sure. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Come on, Victini. Let's go kick some ass with Bayleaf. Well, if there is a boss, they're gonna fucking die. Vine whip all you want, die. You know, Nectar Meadow is like right next to town. To, to Serene Village. Because Badu was able to walk here. Why can't we go visit home? They're just like, no, we can't go home, Neon. It's just too far away. We went to Nectar Meadow. It's right around the corner. It's literally right there. At least I got Barrage, so if there is a boss, they're double doomed. Your evasion meant nothing to me. I like the way that the tail wags as Riolu walks. He's funny. Well, that's funny. Just he's adorable. I guess Sleep Guard isn't too bad. How dare you get in my way, Bugman? 
You dare get in my way? Nyeh. I kill you. I kill you too. With double force palm. That is not actually force palm. Power boost Y. We'll give it to the boy. Another sleep god? Prepare for the end of your life. Flinch more, idiot. Ba -da -da. I shall punch you from afar. I shall punch you like Jafar. And power boost X. <laughs> Through the power of punching, I shall save you. Hey, it's a zigzagoon. You dare show your ugly mug, prepare to die. I am the only one who fears sleep in these dungeons. Your iron defense won't save you. Literally didn't. You're gonna give me that tiny reviver seed, or I'm gonna kill you. How about I kill you and take it anyway? No one cares about you. I devour the clutch performance. Now I am even faster. I guess that like, wouldn't be the worst thing to have. Now I'm wondering, random thought came to brain. Because obviously there's Pokephilia. That's even hinted at in the main line, like Pokemon games sometimes. Everyone remember the Mighty Ina boyfriend from Pokemon Coliseum? So like, in the Mystery Dungeon world, uh, is there human philia? Pokemon's obsessed in that way towards humanity. Excessive force came in clutch. And by that I mean basically didn't do anything. Because I would have killed them anyway. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's a big old boy palm, man. Because I think it's ambi palm? Because there's a palm. I'm fairly certain ambi palm. Vacuum wave. You dare vice grip me? Die. No one's allowed to vice grip my dick. That is very much illegal. We never did find that Zigzagoon that took that Reviver Seed. Where the hell did he go? Then again, it's a big dungeon. He's just probably wandering around, zigzagging all over the place. About as lost as we are. And he lives here. Oh yeah, I'm, I, I at least forget. I drink now. My defense is the best defense. And you know what? Guard boost. So I, <laughs> I increase my defense, and then I increase my defense again. No one will be able to destroy me. Tail whip all you want, you're still gonna die. Hey, defense looplet. You dare? Nom. You're a bug, how do you know Peck? Die. Good job, Gabriel. Ooh, you can learn a new move? What move is it? Ooh, fire spin. Damage is an enemy, it could also cause the fire spin status condition. Hmm. It's not ranged. Hmm, let me see. Hmm. 
Like, it does get... Like, it could trap an enemy in the swirling fire. Hmm. Do I want him to forget Scratch? Because he hardly uses Scratch, as it is. Compared to all his other moves. And deep... Let's give him another stab attack. Like, he hardly ever uses Scratch. If it's stab, he might use... Fire spin more than scratch if he's ever in that like situation. Hey, another ambi palm. I'm gonna kill you. Never mind, you sacrificed your friend. Damn it! Why are you so fast, Shroomish? God will not forgive your sins. Good job. Psybeam has leveled up. Prepare to die. Are you preparing to die? Die. Ah, uh, damn it. That could have been another barrage. And... I don't know, my brain is always just going, Collect the looplets. Collect the looplets. We gotta collect the looplets, because we can. As always, swap and then eat off the ground. Every single time I see that swap symbol, I was like, swap shop, recycle shop? Nope. No idea what would be here in the dungeon, but you never know. It's Pokemon are insane. Intimidator, you are going to give that to me. I want the ability of intimidation given to me by an Imara. Hello there, are you prepared to die? Intimidation time! <laughs> yeah, I can get rid of the sleep guard. And that's it, basically. I think there was, like, another item that was picked up that I might have liked, but, uh, I forget. Nah, it's probably not you. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> the real question is not if there is, a uh, human philia, but what would you call someone who wants to be or likes to present themselves as human, like a Pokemon, uh, term for furry, but for humans. But it would also be weird, because humans do appear in the Mystery Dungeon world. So, like, I think it would be kind of funny if, like, a human appears and, uh, at first, Pokemon are like, oh, you're one of those, are you? Until they're like, oh, no, you, you're actually a human. You're not one of those weird LARPers. Give the boost to you. That'd be potentially funny. But now I have type bulldozer, so everything will die. Ha 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 ha. You've heard of Dio's Road Roller. Now get ready for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's Bulldozer. Prepare to die. I don't know why, but my brain went, you know, Riolu learning Force Palm is funny because if any Pokemon would be a Jedi, it would be the Lucario line. You ever wonder if Pokemon of the same evolution line argue what to call the line? Like, the final evolutions would be like, obviously, you call it the Blastoise line. Because Blastoise is the final evolution in the line. And then the other, like, unevolved Digimon are like, No, you call it the Squirtle line, because Squirtle is the, the first one that you see in the line a lot of the time. There are more Squirtles than there are Blastoises. Stuff like that. <laughs> 
And again, it's just like, it's funny, like, this game is going so hard on the, oh, you look like a child, especially considering the past games had the big plot points of, like, uh, the big old plot points of the fact that Pokemon could not evolve to justify, like, why you couldn't evolve. So therefore, they couldn't really touch on the age and evolution thing, because... Like, by tying evolution and age in a game where evolution got stopped, like, continentally... Would just probably be weird. Who should get the other type bulldozer? Uh, probably you. Might as well. Like, I'm fairly certain that you're super effective against everything here, but... Mm. But yeah, in this game, they haven't set up anything like, oh, evolution is blocked or anything. And in a way... Like, buh, buh, buh. Because it was that kind of weird line of, uh... But, like, I'm not sure if it's meant to be a... Like, child misunderstanding evolution. When he... When Gabriel said, Isn't evolution maturing quickly? Which, not really. So it's like, I wonder. <laughs> like, in the Mystery Dungeon world... What is the social aspect of evolution and maturity? Because I guess it could always be that if you're a, an unevolved Pokemon that isn't like a single stage, that you just have permanent baby face. So a Riolu could be like 50 years old, has a 9 to 5, but like whenever it wants to go to Spinda's bar and get the hard juice, he has to bring out his guild ID. I think there is an entire Star Wars parody, but with Pokemon Troze icons edited over the faces, and their names changed uh, to things like Fanakin, Skywalker, or Car Car Binks. That is hilarious. So yeah, the way I see it is, like, in other Mystery Dungeon games where evolution has been blocked in the continents by uh, the natural disasters and mystery dungeons and stuff. I would say that... Like, probably... They just go like, oh, we can't assume a Pokemon because uh, by evolution because evolution has been blocked, so age is never really brought up, because everyone thinks it'd be rude to be, like, asking everyone's age all the time. And that's why, like, you're able to join Wigglytuff's guild as unevolved Pokemon. But in this game, the continent apparently has no trouble with evolution, so... They're like, we can judge people by their evolution. It could be a, a continental, like, uh, cultural thing. The other continents that have run into evolution, like, issues. Like, uh, don't judge Pokemon by their evolution stage. But this continent that's never run into evolution problems does judge by evolution stage. Even though some Pokemon might not want to evolve. What if they want to learn a specific move that they need to wait later in life to be able to get? Like, I think... Wasn't it one of the... Uh, what is it? Which one? Blah, blah, blah. Which continent was it? Uh, one of the Hoenn starters, they only get their, like, signature move late until uh, into being like a, a, a like a high level first form starter I think
Like, there's probably whole, like, social stuff you can just ponder upon in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Well, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and use this, since if I'm gonna drop it. How dare you be mean. Prepare to die, Venonat. Now go ahead and eat. Don't want to drop anything for an Orenberry. Another Reviver Seed. Okay. What well, do we want to drop for you? I guess the Pure Seed. I don't really use the Pure Seeds that often. We haven't run into any monster houses outside of that one mission. Knock on wood. If we ran into one immediately after I mentioned it, I would have. it would have been hilarious. But yeah, basically, I've just been rambling about world-building the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon worlds. What's their social hierarchy like? Distance dodge, who cares? Nom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that signs of age and evolution stage are very different because there have been... Uh, Nido queens that look like babies in size and Tricos that look 80 to 90 year olds. Like, yeah, in the anime. That's true. But it's hard to really judge, like, Mystery Dungeon to, like, the other, like, Pokemon games because it functions so differently. And one thing that I find hilarious is that, like, uh, Riolu is considered a baby Pokemon by the functions of, like, uh, evolution typings and stuff. Meanwhile, like, due to, like, mystery dungeon shenanigans, Riolu is just, like, a normal first-stage Pokemon on the same level as, like, Pikachu. Because you can become a Riolu in Super Mystery Dungeon, or a Pikachu, rather than a Riolu or a Pichu, which would have been hilarious. God, they're throwing tiny Reviver Seeds at me like crazy. It's just funny because... I don't know, it's just an interesting little thing. Where technically, by their choices, they, in a roundabout way, put Riolu on the same, like, l evolution level as Pikachu, by comparison. Because they wanted to use Pikachu as an iconic starter choice. And not force you to play as a Pichu. Pichu saving the world would go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a funny little thing. What I need to do is, like, learn to open up my bags better. Get my... Get that, uh, bag tech in. I shall smack you from afar. Yeah, but overall, it's just kind of funny how... In a way, I, I think Mystery Dungeon shifted the perception of Riolu. Because Riolu feels more like a first-form starter Pokémon rather than, like, a typical baby Pokémon. It's not an Iggly buff. It's not like... What's the other ones I'm thinking of? Like, it's not like Pichu. It's not like Iggly buff. It's not like Smoochum. Like, can we even open this? Oh, there we go. Dun dun Poklin, dun Pokolin. 
Is this where the evils happen? Oh, so that's what these are. These are doors that can only be opened by escort Pokemon from the from the orb. Ah, oh, and it unlocks new places. Got you. The place beyond the dungeon is... The Leafy Highlands! No wonder Bayleaf wanted to come here. You found a new unknown dungeon. We can find unknowns in there. We can make the alphabet. Thank you. I can finally sleep. That's kind of sad in a way. <laughs> you can only sleep if you get back to your home. And you've been locked from your home for so long. <laughs> Connections have spread even farther. Oh, Expedition Society points went up by 90. Probably because it was a four-star or whatever. <laughs> no more expeditions. Erasing expeditions. Munch it and munch it and munch. Would you like to save your adventure? Of course! Mm. The next morning. Give it your all out there, team! Yes, sir! These Pokemon are very motivated now. Attention! Some Pokemon among your friends are very motivated. This means they can get more experience points a whopping three times higher than normal. In addition, if these three motivated Pokemon go on an adventure, Pokemon that don't go on adventuring will get motivated and get bonus experience points too. Now take your motivated Pokemon on your adventure and power them up. We're taking Axew with us, definitely. Fun fact, that Bayleaf was actually saying Japanese on a uh, I know the word, but I just have never said it out loud. Onomatopoeia for doorbell ringing. Don Don Pokolin, Don Don Pokolin. Ah, that's kind of neat. In a way, uh, like I'm almost surprised they didn't change it. I have another tasty meal waiting for you when you get home today. It'll be so tasty that I might just be tempted to eat it all up without waiting. I mean it, I really want to dig it right now. So feel free to give up on your exploring early and come home to eat. <laughs> really sh goes to show how far Pokemon has come since the four kids era. Where they changed a rice ball to a sandwich. If you think you're falling behind your peers in your studies, let me know. We have studies here? Looks like you two are hard at work. That's what I like to see. I'd be happy to tutor you in between my own work on ancient writings. It would be a refreshing break from this vexing work deciphering old glyphs. It looks like a map of something. Would be funny if it was a map of the hidden land from explorers. <laughs> These donuts are great. Jelly filled are my favorite. It looks like Jirachi is still asleep today. It can probably ca just cause a ruckus like the other day. Let's just leave him in peace. I'm always reminded of one, uh, Brock line from the anime. I'll turn this draw. I'll turn this frying pan into a drying pan. And also reminds me of a, like, animatic I want wanted to make of Brock because Brock shares a voice actor with Kaiba. So I wanted to make like a funny joke mini video doing a Brock voice that he slowly morphs into Kaiba. It's like, oh, so you're so you're gonna challenge me, Ash? But I just wanted to let you know that I think that you're a third-rate trainer with second-rate Pokemon. <coughs> Me poor old throat seems to be in quite the state. Drink water, idiot. You ought to know I'm an odd oddity. We'll definitely take the top prize this year. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We are practicing for our upcoming choral performance. Come on, feel free to join in. We've got space for all. Dad says he'll take me anywhere I like today. I've got the day off today. I'm going to get a sunburn in this heat. Anyone who opposes me will be burned to a crisp. That's just one possibility. What if I stabbed you? <laughs> we 
got so many tiny reviver seeds from that dungeon run. I want to sell this apple for a hundred dollars. God, imagine if the single apple was a hundred dollars. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> Third rate trainer, fourth rate Pokemon Neon. That's how the quote goes. It's been a long time since I heard the third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck line. It's been a long time. I have a Well, let's check my connection orb. Anybody in need of saving today? Chirim has been lost in Leafy Islands. Well, except, let's see. So, fourth floor, Leafy Highlands. Mankey want to fight on the second floor. Need to beat up Primeape with you, Pachirisu. And then Quagsire. Let's go save Quagsire's stuff. We'll bring Axew along for that uh, super experience. Let's see. Battle alongside Why Not. Uh, of course, we already know what that one is. Rescue. Finders Keepers. That makes me think that we're going to have to fight somebody for it. So let's go. Oh, nice! It actually puts them at the top. Come along, <laughs> honorary lock. Let's go kick some ass. Ah, oh, you can beat that guy to death. That young mask has to die. Well, that's just mean. Axie, why didn't you go fight alongside the dude? And also, why couldn't I get there in time for that game? That seems illegal that you have a diddly D I I couldn't even get to. That seems illegal. Seems very illegal to have a diddly D Emera I can't even get to. I literally spawned there, and I couldn't get to it. I like this music, it's nice. Comeback? What's that? Uh, increase the accuracy of move on your next turn if the move misses. Eh, doesn't hurt to have. Look at all these apples! We'll be able to sell them all and get lots of money. With all that money, we'll be able to tear down the orphanage. Thank you, Honorary Lock. It would be neat if you could nickname Pokemon from the connection orb. I mean, their nicknames, they don't have to be their canon names. It doesn't have to be on the their birth certificate. That's what nicknames are all for. Da, 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 da. Oh, not you. Not you, you motherfucker. I hate you. You bastard. Shuppets are mean. They use the move spite like bastards. Toughness. That's just to, like, make you endure an attack that would otherwise cause you to be... I guess I might as well place it. We're probably gonna have to fight somebody for Quagsire's stuff. Because the, the mission's called Finder's Keepers. That implies somebody's found it and doesn't want to give it up. Be 
shoot you onto the wonder tile. How dare you, Nom. Get obliterated, idiot, and the power of barrage! Ah, shit. You killed them! Oh, I guess we could always eat that. Well, that's kind of scary. You can do it. Three times multiplier! I guess I'll eat my other orange berry if I have it. Oh, I have more than one orange berry. Haha! How dare you use your arm thrusts? Stop it! Get paralyzed, idiot. Die. To death with Makuhita. To hell with him. And his family. Paralysis guard. Eh, I'll just. Yeah. Die. You're a big Q bone. Oh no, you're a Marowak. From behind, you look like a Q bone. Is that specious? From behind, you look like a big baby. Almost missed this. Another toughness. Mwah. I want to... I always keep missing these, like, singular piles of emerald dust. Well, that's just mean. Prepare to die. That's not going to help you from the dragon attacks. Three times multiplier. Prepare to die, Birdman. Attorney at law. And another barrage for the boy. You fool, you come to your death. Eh, wand experts, I'll just near. This music sounds like the... I want to say something from Smash Brothers. It's like some kind of music from Smash Brothers with that dun-dun, dun-dun kind of thing. All right, Mr. Kecleon of the dungeon, I'll pay this for those items. Thank you, Mr. Kecleon. At least your allies can't accidentally steal for you. Ah, son of a bitch. If only I had berry power. I don't think I have a Pekka Berry randomly in my inventory this time. I'm gonna die. Ah, shit. Schmick! Aha, get barraged, idiot. Barrage, saving the day since today. Hmm, payback. You know what? That's actually pretty good. So now if they hit me, they can die. <laughs> the the ultimate flex, put payback on your Emera. Ha, idiot. Put on the payback, Emera. May God strike me down where I stand. God strikes you down, and then he's now at one HP. Get him! Get him now! Down with the false god that is God. Yeah. 
You wanna fight me? Die. Force pump! Hey, another barrage. I'll take double barrage. Jesus fucking Christ. Barrage, help me. Shit. Well, at least he uh, got paralyzed. And now he's dead. And everything is A-OK. -okay. And of course I... Darn you, but luckily it's just right here. Ah, but it said Finder's Keeper, so I thought we were going to have to fight somebody for it. The connection orb started shining. Instead, he thinks we stole it from him. Oh, so you're the thieves who stole my precious thing. I'm going to kill you. Bubba. I uh, went up by 50. Eh, sure, why not? I wonder how many expedition points we need to level up. Oh, we earned a reward. Now, I wonder how many, like, Jirachis there are in the world. If there's a Jirachi here, are there, like, other star caves? Or is this the Jirachi from that one, the Explorer's Continent? Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. What's this? It seems the Pokemon Nexus on the second floor has been updated. Go check the Pokemon Nexus. <laughs> okay, I guess we could maybe bring Dragonite along to utterly destroy things. There's at least one motivated unknown. What does that mean? When a motivated unknown goes for an adventure... Okay, we'll bring Unknown along. Okay. Unbelievable six... T so if I bring an Unknown along, along with the other motivated Pokemon, they'll get a six-time bonus. I'll definitely bring Unknown along to power up my mains. <laughs> We update the Nexus. Or, oh, that's what ha that's how we rank up. Interesting. Your expedition society rank has reached normal. Oh. Okay, we got a gold looplet, two lucha tokens, and uh, five gold bars, and we now have an extra preset. And that's not all. Songs added to the jukebox. V wheel. You are 620 points away from the next rank. Does that mean that you didn't upgrade my bag? Oh, hey. All right, interesting. Pokemon that are interested in the companions rush to you. Gabite and Drillbur from the first dungeon that we really went to. By Sharp the g from GTI. Interesting. They didn't upgrade my bag, the bitches. But that's still cool. That's how we rank up. There are over 700 kinds of Pokemon living in this world. It's fascinating to see which Pokemon evolve from which. Would it, it would be kind of funny if once upon a time, people didn't know where, like, Vaporeon or Espeon came from. It's like, where does this one come from? Time to get started for the day. First things first, let's get these whiskers all combed. Considering those are what help you uh, communicate, that's actually a very important thing. You seem to be in fine spirits today. Keep it up. But I'll definitely need to remember that unknowns double experience for everybody in the party when motivated. Definitely need to remember that. Quickly check all the rooms. How come ours the only ones that exist? The Ten Laws of the Expedition Society. Smile and say hello. Get plenty of rest and eat right. Do your best on any job. Be thankful for your friends and family. Play a lot and goof off sometimes. 
That's kind of funny. Is this the other ones? Communicate openly. Don't be afraid of failure. Believe in yourself and your friends. Never give up your hope or your courage. Whenever you're in trouble, come to the Expedition Society. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Oh, cutscene. Hey, you there! Yeah, I'm talking to you. Remember me? My other name is Krokorok. Boy, am I ever glad I ran into you again. Why you gotta go and make a face like that when this good pal like me just says hi? You're making me feel bad. Maybe a little bit of pokey will help me focus. What do you think you're doing, Crockerock? But be also. You wouldn't be trying to extort our newest members now, would you? Not that I would expect anything else from you. <laughs> Little old me, never. Just say hi to my new friends, that's all. Right, friends? Somehow I doubt that. Regardless, if I do find you picking on these two, you will live to regret it. That is somehow much more intimidating than you won't live to regret it. <laughs> that That is on the same level as... Uh, I forget what that movie is, was called, but it was a slasher, like, uh, suspense thriller slasher. And one of the characters' lines is, Eat shit and live, Bill. It's kind of like that. You will live to regret it. Ah! ah, shit. He has a big boy. What's going on here? B Mr. Crook Crookadile. Crookadile. You showed up just in time, Mr. Crookadile. These guys were just bullying me for no good reason at all. Oh, they were, were they? Bullied others is just downright wrong. Ain't that right, Mr. Crocodile? Buzo, huh? From the Expedition Society, aren't you? Hmm, what a bunch of garbage. I could wipe the floor with the lot of you. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous today. But I suggest you don't test the limit of my patience. Come on. <laughs> Take that, losers. We're gonna kill him someday. Phew, you really saved our hides. Thanks, Buzel. I could hardly leave you alone in that situation. Those two are serious trouble. Crocorock's not much of a threat on his own, but Crocodile. He's the worst thing that's ever happened to Lively Town. And he's strong to boot. You'll want to be careful around him. We will. Thanks, Buzel. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh. That crocodile is a real villain. You kids should be careful out there. Crocodile? I don't know. He's at the cafe a lot, I guess. <laughs> he never does any work. Just loafs around with his croc rock lackeys. Crocodile is always bothering Lilligant. I've got no interest in a Pokemon like that. Sexual harassment in Lively Town. Honestly, I'm probably never gonna actually use Imra up orbs. <laughs> so I should probably just like start using them as I find them in dungeons. Or at least keep them, and then if I like find a bunch of Imra in a dungeon, then use them, probably. Let's see, what are you selling? Person ban, but only has four. There we go, I think I'll take these. And said that I have six golden bars. Do I care to exchange for anything? 
we should see what Lucha tokens do, like, save and then see what abilities we can swap to, maybe. Interesting that we can get two gold looplets. We're, well, oh, hey! We can give a gold looplet to the boy. Hmm. Because I kind of want to save up to get these. Raises the power of the move you last used. Hmm. Like, maybe at least the PowerPoint up drink. It depends. I'll probably do a little bit of saving, like, to try these out to see exactly how much power or uh, PowerPoints they up and up. <laughs> and then I should also look and see, like, which of these TMs I can teach myself. Because, like, I don't know. Or even to see, like, what moves these are. Because they won't let you actually go in and in. Then again, it's possible that it's just best to, like, raise your various things. Like, just raise your speed to never miss again, maybe. Thank you so much. You've made me really happy. Kind of disappointing they didn't have a mm-hmm in there. I'm Tyranitar of Team ACT. I'm proud of my armored body and power. Punch, punch. Here goes nothing but punch. Look at the spiral pattern on my belly. It's my intestines. Welcome to Cafe Connection. Ooh, we got a protein. We got a protein. Get all the rewards. Definitely putting that protein into my inventory to use up next time. Because, oh wait, that's deposit. I'm a fool. I want to take out. And I guess we'll also withdraw these to test out because we can hello dragonite let's work together well you are motivated first things first save because I want to see what abilities we can swap to in fact I actually need to look and see if I can check I don't want to check that. I want to actually check what my inner focus is. Is it maybe from team selection? Hmm. So now it has to be from here. Ah, that's how. Okay. It protects the Pokemon from the flinch status effect. Well, that's pretty nice. Lucha tokens don't work on Gabriel as he only has Blaze. And as for Uriolo, you can replace immunity to flinch for a speed bump uh, if you get flinched. Ah. Right. Then I'll just keep my immunity to flinch. But interesting <laughs> that not all of the, like, uh, starter Pokemon have multiple abilities. But I do believe that we've been going for a decent amount of time. So I do believe that we shall stop there. We made a lot of progress. We came in, joined the Expedition Society, and found the kind of uh, Team Meanies, Team Skull of the game, I presume, with Crocodile. Which is something interesting because technically... GTI didn't have a Team Meanies or Team Skull. There was Muna's Gang, but Muna's Gang was a lot more story important than Team Meanies or Team Skull, which is very interesting. But we'll have to wait and see what happens next time. Now, now that we officially have gotten to the main gameplay loop, like 12 hours in, I still kind of like that. That's still kind of neat building up to this point. It was very cool. I like that the uh, S Expedition Society has a lot of personality, even if they're kind of stupid. 
where they're like, I'm so angry at my food being taken that I'm going to destroy our life's work again. And then still say that it's not that important compared to, like, not having dinner and thus starving slightly. But they all seem to have, like, decent personalities, if not, like... Like, none of them have straight-in-your-face, like, talking patterns, like, Oh my gosh! Sunflora, or hey hey! Corefish. Or even the more subtle, uh, voice patterns of Bidoof. They're, like, a little bit more low-key in some places, but it's probably just that we haven't, like, interacted with them a lot. Because with the Wigglytuff guild, you basically start interacting with them at, from the beginning of the game. Meanwhile, here, we are way, way, way into the game. And only just now starting to get to them, which is still kind of cool. But, yeah, I'm still enjoying this game. The story... There was not much story story so much as we just got to the status quo for the rest of the game. Also, I wonder if Jirachi is going to count as a boss tile. I almost really hope not. That would be kind of sad. Because then that means that there's only three more boss fights across the game. And that would be a little disappointing, but oh well. But yeah, the characters are still a lot of fun. And uh, the, like, level of technology the Expedition Society seems to have is interesting. And potentially has a little bit of, like, world building to it. Because, like, the connection orbs and stuff aren't really things that everyday Pokemon have. It's only the Kecleon Guild of Shoppers. And then, like, the guilds. Which is kind of neat. But yeah. The art when introducing the characters was really good. Like, that's one thing I really like about these 3D like, uh, Mystery Dungeon games is that they have a lot of nice art. And I appreciate that. But yeah, it's mostly just gotten to the status quo. We got to Lively Town, and it's just very, very interesting. And I wonder where the story will go next time. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want everything that I do, uh, it can be found in my link tree. linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. So if you want edited YouTube content, YouTube streaming, Twitch streaming, or watching these streams after the fact on my streaming YouTube channel, those are all there. If you want to see various arts that I create, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on the various different social medias that I post to. <laughs> Don't worry too much about the boss tiles. There are a few unmarked, and you're still a couple of streams out from the main story completion. I definitely knew that. It's just like... It's just a funny little metric to kind of go by, to like look and kind of guess and theorize to a degree. But if you want other things from me, I also do some writing that is also linked in my link tree. And finally, for the extra supremely kind, there is my Patreon, which I treat as a little donation box for those that want to help me out and go above and beyond. But yes, but yes... Thank you very much for watching, everybody. The next stream should be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we will continue this marvelous game. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and hydrated. And please, have a good night. Bye-bye.